Hey, what's going on guys? Thanks for tuning in. Today we have the Hemaway Zebra and the Aerial Rider Kepler. And we're gonna go over some of the key differences and which one is the overall better value. If you like the content, please subscribe to the channel. Hit that thumbs up button and also ring that notification bell for future notifications of my videos. All right, so we'll start with the most asked question about these bikes is let's talk about the top speed. So the Zebra has a top speed of 20 miles per hour and the Aerial Rider Kepler has a top speed of a whopping 35 miles per hour. So definitely a big difference there as far as top speed goes. As far as the motors go, you have a 750 watt motor on the Himaway. And on the Aerial Rider Kepler, it features a 1000 watt Lefang motor. So certainly a significant difference. Uh, as far as the battery goes, the Himaway Zebra features a 960 watt hour battery. And it actually releases from the front. While the Aerial Rider Kepler features 1,040 watt hour battery. And that releases from the top there. As far as the battery goes and the watt hours, so you're gonna get more range with the Aerial Rider Kepler. Both of these bikes feature a, a tactile braking system. Definitely one of the big names in the brand, if not the best. Great brakes for both bikes. As far as utility goes, and the racks in the back, you only have one regular rack on the Hemiway Zebra. It's kind of your average rack. You got the nice wood panel on the top there. Definitely uh, sharp looking. Now, as far as the Aerial Rider Kepler goes, you have a more capable, heavy duty, highly engineered rear rack. So super useful if you want to carry any heavy cargo on this bike. So both bikes have options with rear racks but the Kepler being the more heavy duty, more capable rack. So there are some of the key differences as far as these bikes go. The Himaway Zebra is a great bike, but in terms of overall value, the Aerial Rider Kepler definitely wins that out, in my opinion. The Himaway Zebra comes in at $1,900, while the Aerial Rider Kepler comes in at just under $1,800. So again, I think the overall value, as far as the power, the torque, the top speed, the range, the edge goes to the Aerial Rider Kepler, and it's pretty significant. If you have any questions about these two bikes, please leave them in the comments below. I'm more than happy to answer them for you. But until next time, thank you for watching. Peace out.